Hello there and welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at the make date, make time and make week date function. These are the functions which is helpful as you can see making the date based on the parameters that we are specifying. So let's first look at the make date. So over here uh, if I take a text and image and if I just add a measure um, saying make date and just specify 2020 and come out what it will give me the 1 1 2020 that means the first day of the year right so this is something which we should know so but if I specify the the year so it how it goes is y y y y that means year and then the month let's say 05 then what it gives me the 05 01 2020 that means it's first of may 2020 and now if i want i can go ahead and specify the date as well let's say 25th of may so 25th may 2020 so that's about the make date now how about um make time so we will enter the function which is make time as similar to make date you have make time and uh, then let's say i enter just 20 so what it will give me is 8 pm all right let me just make a line for this using the chr10 the new line um expression for the only line function for click sense and 8 pm right because i just specified 20 if i specified 22 gives me 10 pm so make time is also as you can see straightforward if i just specifying the one parameter it will take hour comma if i specify 15 you would have guessed it right 22 15 that means 10 minutes 10th hour in the night and 15 minute so it's 10 15 in the night and finally if i specify want to specify the second let's say 50 then it is 10 15 50 so it's the entire time that i have specified so using this if you have any sort of calculation based on which you want to make the time you can make the time by specifying the arguments the three arguments all right now finally let's look at the make week date all right so make week date is also very straightforward um so we have uh, 2014 let's say um comma five all right if we are specifying only this two that means uh, over here I will just create one new line for this as well. Send. So that is 127-2014. So this basically says is we want fifth week of 2014, which is the in which it consider Monday as the first day. So 27th of uh, Jan. 2014 is what it is giving you if you want any other week let's say we want week number 30 it will move i think to july july 21 2014 so if we don't specify any number at the end then uh, zero on monday is assumed like uh, or a weekday zero is assumed i have shown this in the previous video of the weekday the zero is monday and six is sunday so if we say let's say six the date will change accordingly so you need to know about uh, these three parameters when you are working because uh, with the help of the week which is week number 30 or week number 50 or whatever week you are specifying you can make the week date based on that also the value from 0 to 6 0 indicates monday and 6 indicates the friday and accordingly sorry 6 indicates the sunday and accordingly you will get the date output 
So that's mainly I want you to talk about in this video and I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.